So this is the resultant fog smog geoengineering haze solar radiation management solar blockout. Unfortunately the and you can see lines here we can see scalar action here which is basically the electromagnetic manipulation of the sprayed materials you can see lines here these are kind of the sprayed uh, materials probably reacting to the electromagnetic uh, transmissions that are transmitted out to these uh, sprayed materials and manipulated. They can condense or disperse these materials to create weather events such as storms or drought and that's exactly what they're doing. Um, it seems they're making up for lost uh, time. Uh, this year we've had pretty good amount of rain. The last few years uh, they've been migrating the, uh, or the previous few years they've been migrating the uh, moisture from along the coast here out over the to the eastern part of the United States and let's see you can see these materials are actually moving uh, northeast and if you look at the trees you look at the tree tops we see we have no we have no wind at all there no noticeable wind at all we look at the treetops, but then we see these spray lines moving. So if you look at this treetop, you and if you look closely, you'll see that these sprays are moving, but we have no wind at all. So these sprays are moving to the northeast. And basically they are being manipulated and once again we have the artificial cloud cover and then you can see the lininess to these to this these background clouds here and these are basically most likely the spray material off the coast and the resultant solar radiation management blockage they can actually block out 80 percent of your solar uh, uh, power grids uh, energy so they can knock out eight percent if they want all they have to do is spray more materials and PG&E is openly invested in the geoengineering uh, sprayed solar radiation management program and just think uh, if you had stuck in PG&E and you wanted to have people use more utilities then all you'd have to do was spray a little bit more material so yeah and so that's what's going on here right now in Humboldt County. I, I have submitted an official document, a resolution to require uh, public notification before they spray these toxic sprays which are laden with aluminum, barium, strontium, sulfur, coal ash, etc. Commonly you will find these materials in the geoengineering weather modification patents. All you have to do is look them up and so yeah that's what's going on and uh, these materials are going to cause economic and, and agricultural damage and that's why I've submitted the resolution to the Board of Supervisors, the Air Quality Management District, and um, the City of Eureka to require public notification before they do geoengineering. And unfortunately, the problem is, is that most people don't know about geoengineering and if they did, 
they would object to it. So that's what this is basically all about. So we're just uh, allowing the, everyone to be educated on what's going on. Private corporations can modify our weather, and they uh, certainly are. I've noticed it particularly in the last three years. A friend of mine here in, uh, has noticed it for the last eight years. It's being done without public consent, without environmental impact reports, or any sort of local government control of these weather modification programs. And so heads up, tell your friends, educate them.